Do we have pools of molten iron? Let's start with the South Tower now. This section applies to the World Trade Center Twin Towers and Building 7. We're told by NIST that this substance must be melted aluminum from the airplane. But melted aluminum looks like melted aluminum. <laughs> it's silvery. It doesn't uh, glow in daylight conditions. As of 21 days after the attack, the fires were still burning and molten steel was still running, says World Trade Center structural engineer Leslie Robertson to a conference of structural engineers on October 5th, 2001, one month after 9-11. Debris past the columns was red hot, molten, running. Fires burned, molten metal flowed in the pile of ruins, still settling beneath my feet. Well, what do the first responders and the demolition contractors say about molten metal? Saw pools of literally molten steel. Molten metal beams had just been totally melted. It was dripping from the molten steel. Steel flowed in molten streams. They're finding molten steel, seeing the molten steel, uncovering red-hot metal beams. Molten metal, red-hot, weeks after the event. Molten steel at the heart of the tower's remains. Molten steel beams, streams of molten metal that leaked from the hot cores and flowed down the broken walls. Molten metal dripping from a beam. The end of the beam would be dripping with molten steel. And this structural engineer, Abu Hazan Astani from Berkeley, cites and documents, I saw melting of girders in the World Trade Center. Still so hot that molten metal dripped down the side of the wall from Building 6. A fire truck 10 feet below the ground that was still burning two weeks after the tower collapsed. It's metal so hot that it looked like a vat of molten steel. Pieces of steel, still cherry red. One of the more unusual artifacts to emerge from the rubble is this rock-like object that has come to be known as the meteorite. It's this fused element of, of steel, mo molten steel and concrete and all of these things all fused by the heat. And architects, engineers, people who work with steel, welders have just never seen the level of destruction and the level of deformation of this material in our lives. These cooled meteorites are not aluminum because aluminum doesn't rust. So it's not a melted airplane. Mark Loiseau, the president of Control Demolition Incorporated, told the American Free Press that in the basements of the World Trade Center, where 47 central support columns connected to the bedrock, hot spots of literally molten steel were discovered more than a month after September 11th. These incredibly hot areas were found at the bottoms of the elevator shafts, down seven basement levels. The molten steel was found three, four, and five weeks later when the rubble was being removed. He said that molten steel was also found at World Trade Center 7. The highest temperature was in the east corner of the South Tower, where a temperature of 1,377 degrees Fahrenheit was recorded. The molten steel in the basement was more than double that temperature. What are we talking about here? Here is Building 7 at A and B, and here is the North Tower and the South Tower. These hot spots are 1,340 to 1,370 degrees. These are the temperatures of the hottest office fires. There was no fire on the surface of ground zero after the collapses. What are we measuring here? We're measuring the molten metal that was seen by these first responders four, five, six stories down below in the basements that was surely at least twice or three times these temperatures. What's the problem with that? Office fires, Eager says 1,200 degrees. Uh, NIST claims 1,800 degrees, for which we have no evidence for office fires of that temperature in the Trade Center towers. Structural steel doesn't even begin to melt until 2,700 or so degrees. We're missing 1,000 to 2,000 degrees of temperature, heat energy required to produce this stuff. Where is it coming from? We'll be taking a look at a possible suspect, thermite, which reaches temperatures of 4,500 degrees. Molten metal flowing off the substance held in the jaws of this backhoe. Let's listen to John Gross, lead engineer of NIST, tell us about the molten metal from his perspective. I'm curious about uh, the uh, 
pool of molten steel that was found in the bottom of the, of the tower. Um, I, I am too. And <laughs> Please tell me about it. Have you, have you seen it? Well, I, no, not personally, but eyewitnesses there found huge poles of molten steel beneath the towers. And uh, scientists, some scientists don't think that the uh, collapse of the building could have melt, melted all that steel. And uh, uh, professor, physics professor analyzed some of the steel and uh, Stephen Jones, and he found evidence of, uh, of thermate residue, mm -hmm. which would explain how the buildings collapsed by means of pre-planted explosives. So have you analyzed the, uh, the steel for uh, any of those residues? Um, first of all, let's go back to your basic uh, premise that there was uh, a pool of molten, molten steel. Um, I know of absolutely nobody, and no eyewitness who said so, nobody who's produced it. You'd get down below and you'd see molten steel, yeah, molten down. steel running down the channel rails, like you're in a foundry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like lava. Like, like, it was like lava. lava. No eyewitness who said so. There actually melted beams where it was molten steel that was being dug out. No eyewitness who said so. Underground, it was still so hot that molten metal dripped down the sides of a wall. No eyewitness who said so. And the cleanup was very difficult in the beginning. Steel was coming out red in certain areas from the first couple of weeks. No eyewitness who said so. As of 21 days after the attack, the fires were still burning and molten steel was still running, says World Trade Center structural engineer Leslie Robertson. No eyewitness who said so. Saw pools of literally molten steel. No eyewitness who said so. And this structural engineer documents, I saw melting of girders in the World Trade Center. Nobody who's produced it. Nobody who's produced it. This fused element of, of steel, mo molten steel. I know of absolutely nobody, and no eyewitness who said so, nobody who's produced it. What is the problem here? Somebody's lying. I'm going to leave it up to you to make your own conclusions.